everybody. Good morning. It's Suzanne here. I kind of settled this morning, did some mundane things just to get back on track, paid some bills, that kind of thing. And I thought, gosh, I may already be bored with 2020. <laughs> what I mean by that is just this need and this um, insane desire that people have that for some reason a date on the calendar is going to make everything different. I can tell you right now, I am the same me, just a new year. Um, and that doesn't mean that I don't want to grow or strive or maybe shift things or think about things, but I did some business planning at the end of the year um, and certainly got some of that in order. But I really have been thinking about what would it look like if I didn't pressure myself to have to do or be anything better right now? What if who I am is enough and how I'm doing it is enough and what I'm doing is enough? I went and got a coffee this morning and walked by an Orange Theory class and the instructor was on a microphone and he was screaming, it's the second day of the year. What are you going to do? How hard are you going to push yourself? And I thought, I don't know. I mean, I was carrying my coffee and I thought, what if I didn't push myself today? What would that look like? What if I just didn't? Um, and that's, you know, coming from a voice of a person who I am a hustler. I am a hustler. Um, and if anybody's watching, it's actually really interesting. Kevin Hart's new docuseries on Netflix called Don't Fuck This Up. And um, he was, he talks a lot about hustle and he's a crazy hustler and where he got that from. He got it from his mom, very similar to me, where I got it from. And I think, you know, having a three-year-old, I think having a business that's now about 11 years old, I think um, having moved, um, like this was my kind of my first year to exhale because we had such a crazy 18 months of moving from South Carolina to North Carolina and moving the office and all that. I just pause and I just say, like, it's okay to already be bored with 2020. I don't mean the year and what could be upcoming and your life and your family and all that. I just mean the drama of it and the hype of it and the who you need to be and what you've got to do. And if you don't do that, what does that mean? And what does that look like? And everything in between. And so I just, on January 2nd, want to just encourage you to go, what do I I want as opposed to what the magazines tell me I should want, um, the messages that are out there saying it's a new year, it better be a new you. I kind of like me. I don't think I want a new me. And you may like you too, and you may like your life. And certainly there's things that I do want to improve, and there's certainly things that I do want to change, and that's okay too. Um, there's a great New Yorker article that came out actually about a year and a half ago talking about the problems and the burdens that we put on ourselves and some of the issues that come with this personal development um, frenzy of always wanting more, always needing more, always needing to be improving, improving, improving. There's actually a counter to that. Um, and I think it's a really interesting article that I read on the plane. And so I'm going to bring that up as well. And, you know, you can get your latte and you don't have to make this your best day ever. You could just make it the day it is. It's an amazing Thursday. It could be lovely. It could be charming. It could be challenging. It could be exhilarating. It could be exhausting. Um, it could also just be.